It was one of the bloodiest weekends of the year in America's most violent major city. Police say more than 70 people were shot and 12 were killed from Friday to Monday. 40 of them shot in a seven hour stretch after midnight on Saturday. Police blame gangs targeting rivals at outdoor events such as funerals and block parties. It's the same people who are pulling the triggers in some of these communities. This isn't a widespread issue among citizens of this city. This is a small subset of individuals who think they can play by their own rules because they continue to get a slap on the wrist when we arrest them. Violence tends to rise with the temperatures in the Windy City, and this past weekend was one of the year's hottest. Over the years so far, 300 people have been killed and 1,700 people have been shot in the city of Chicago. And believe it or not, that is down about 30% from the past two years. Now, this year, most of those shootings have been on the south and west sides of Chicago, the most violent parts of the city. President Trump's lawyer, Rudolph Giuliani, called the violence a result of the Democratic rule in the city. But Mayor Rahm Emanuel, President Obama's former chief of staff and a frequent foil of Trump's, described it as a failure of morality. All of us know that this is not Chicago, what we saw. Therefore, all of us who love this city and call it home have a responsibility to heal our neighborhoods. Protesters against violence recently shut down Chicago's iconic Lakeshore Drive, raising awareness of an epidemic of gun battles that draws little attention downtown and in the affluent north side because it is largely contained in the poorer, mostly black neighborhoods. We organized the march uh, right in the middle of rush hour traffic, and we want to make sure that we uh, redistribute the pain in Chicago because on the south, east, and west sides of Chicago, people are dying every day. Not surprisingly, the isolated weekend violence in the neighborhoods left the four-day Lollapalooza Music Festival untouched downtown, where 100,000 people descended on Chicago's lakeshore, largely unaware of the bloodshed a few miles away. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.